Hey, what's up? Hello everyone, my name is David from Finance, and this is a review of the Super Clock Silicone Mask from Metamorphos. So let's get right into it. I had specced this mask out with a salt and pepper beard and eyebrows, uh, which gives him a much older look. One of the main reasons that I got this mask specifically is because I love the design of this guy so much from um, the way that Metamorphos mask had sculpted the nose and the ears. It was just something that I had to, I had to own. <laughs> um, so I've had this mask for about just a little over a week now. And I must say that over time I've learned some, some pros and cons. One of the things that stood out was the, just the absolute amazing um, paint job that they did. I'll include some uh, photos and, you know, videos uh, as inside shots so you guys can have a look at the details a bit better. Um, yeah, so this is the second mask I've ever bought. The first one being the... Uh, real mask, mask, mask. This is a um, young handsome male. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this mask, but holy hell! After getting this guy in my hands, I've just been been blown away. One of the more interesting parts of this mask is um, the larger bib. Usually, the realistic male mask. Usually, they come with a you know, just the pecs. Uh, it comes down kind of to uh, the mid septum. But what Metamorphos uh, did this time was sculpt the entire shoulder, chest, and some of the back of the mask. So I'll do a quick turn around so you can, uh, can get a good idea of how the mask is looking. So here's the front. The bib comes up to about here. As you can see, great muscle definition. The trapezoids are amazing. I love them. <laughs> Makes me so big and tough. Uh, this turnaround, side profile. Um, honestly, I. I love this mask. Here's the back of the head. And this side. Yeah, overall, amazing, realistic um, muscle definition on the sky lip cupping and lip movement as you've seen is absolutely amazing as i've said i've I own two masks and um, this is actually the first mask i can actually smile in as you can see the eye holes are um i'll try to get a bit closer hold on as you can see here's a close-up of the eye holes um, I'd say they are pretty realistic definitely closer to the skin and definitely blends in I'm gonna keep referring back to this mask but with this one as you may have seen from my um, older videos uh, that they don't really line up and sit close to the eyes so it's hard to look natural with them on. With this one, you know, I don't have to wear any glasses or anything like that to hide because it, it, it just looks completely realistic from almost any distance, you know, if you get too close and obviously you can kind of tell that uh, there is a seam there but you know, from any distance further than a meter, I feel like it just looks 
awesome and I you know it really sells the look when I look in the mirror I can't really see the you know the seams and the eye holes on that it brings me to my first um, con about this mask which is that the eye holes aren't exactly that comfortable on my face um, this could be due to me having a smaller eye so it's forcing me to push in um, the where the eye holes are I really feel like the, it's compressing down on my eyes in, in ways that makes it a bit uncomfortable in saying that you know I'm still wearing it I've been wearing it for like quite a while now over half an hour and um, it's still very very comfortable it's just something that I've noticed with the mask like this so you know please keep that in consideration when you're choosing to buy um, silicone mask another thing that struck me initially was when I was putting on a mask it was um, slightly more difficult than putting on a, a really stretchy silicone mask like this one just due to the extended trapezoid muscles and you know the muscles surrounding the neck of the mask so there was a bit of a learning curve on how to actually put on the mask properly without damaging it some other minor gripes that I have um, which is so so minor but that actually uh, doesn't come with any ear holes um, and that's by design just because ear holes also add a another um, sensitive spot that might break under stress so I completely understand that and it would have been nice to see ear holes and I'm sure I could have gotten ear holes if I asked um, Metamorphos to put them in. Yeah, overall I'm super duper happy with the um, quality and the finish of this mask. The sculpting, painting and the hair work all really work together to form this amazing realistic uh, piece that really allows me to transform and look much much different than I am in real life <laughs> um, yeah so that is my closing thoughts please let me know if I miss anything in my review um, if you have any further questions please put them down below in the comments I will get to them as soon as I can and um, provide you with some more answers um, so yeah, that's all. Um, my name is uh, David from Finance, and um, I will see you guys next time.